Americans invited. Dr. Cambon and uh, Mrs. Uh, Sister Thornton, and of course, uh, uh, let me uh, over the last uh, seven or eight minutes that we have during this final mm -hmm. segment uh, for today, uh, Dr. Cambon. Uh, give you and uh, Sister Thornton an opportunity to sort of leave our audience with uh, some parting thoughts dealing with this whole idea of Africa study a world dimension, indicating that uh, we are all interested in trying to create an environment whereby uh, more, can, more knowledge can be uh, spread dealing with uh, Africa. Let's give you an opportunity to say something. Sure, well, I, that. I think that certainly uh, one of the challenges that we talked about in the last segment is that we have to, as African people, we have to confront our demons, and, and we have several within and without. Mm -hmm. And uh, certainly our miseducation, mm -hmm. the misinformation we have about Africa, about our history, about our culture, which is ASCAC is certainly the mm -hmm. primary uh, organization, not the only one, but certainly the primary organization that's, that's focused on mm -hmm. uh, correcting that situation for our people and institutionalizing the African centered knowledge. So we certainly have to confront that uh, to, and if we are going to overthrow this oppression, mm -hmm. this domination, uh, by Eurocentric reality and transform ourselves into uh, the self-determined people that we should be. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to mention the fact that I have a new book coming out uh, this summer mm -hmm. uh, entitled Culture Misorientation, mm -hmm. The Greatest Threat to the Survival of the Black Race mm -hmm. and in the 21st Century. And in that book, I'm trying to, first of all, articulate the nature of this problem as it impacts us psychologically mm -hmm. of misinformation, miseducation, and how it it indoctrinates us to a Eurocentric reality mm -hmm. and confuses us and make us believe that that reality is our reality. Mm -hmm. And so therefore, we will continue to operate in a way that this empowers us, our people, mm -hmm. rather than empowering our people. So certainly, uh, that's a great challenge mm -hmm. and I do a much better job than I could do here in the few minutes we have mm -hmm. to articulate the basic message there. Mm -hmm. But it certainly attempts to sound an alarm to our people to focus us around the what are the deficits that living in a Eurocentric society and culture has created for our people? And then how do we utilize the information that's presented by ASCAC and the mm -hmm. literature that is being developed as an African Center mm -hmm. to empower ourselves as a people and create new institutions that began to mm -hmm. preserve and protect our interests mm -hmm. as African people? Mm -hmm. I think, uh, Mrs. Thornton, uh, we mentioned uh, earlier, we talked about the voice and all of that, and all of these things simply go back a long, long way in mm -hmm. terms of, and mm -hmm. I think, uh, 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 Dr. Kambon, uh, you're talking about uh, the miseducation of the Negro. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the same, I mean, mm -hmm. and, and it never stops. So where, where mm -hmm. do you stand in reference to that? I mean, how do you see that? Uh, uh, well, sort? we talked about the challenges, and I see the major challenge in trying to get our information to the institutions. That's mm -hmm. a major, major challenge. So mm -hmm. I see education on many, many fronts. Mm -hmm. I don't limit it to the institution. The institution mm -hmm. right now really is our enemy, so mm -hmm. why waste your energy pushing and trying to get through? It's, it's one of the spaces, but it's not the only space. Mm -hmm. Take it out to where the masses of our people are. Mm -hmm. Develop study groups. Have people coming into your homes mm -hmm. and talking to you. Have lectures and, and, and lecture series mm -hmm. and that, and get the information there. Give it to your young people. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes they said the old heads, the older people, mm -hmm. or those who think in that way, they're lost to the, to the mm -hmm. system, but we need to really feed it to our young people. And they're not going to always want to hear it in the public institution. They want, they'll come out to a lecture series mm -hmm. and hear it and be open mm -hmm. to it. Um, I think we, we, we need to take it into the, every apartment building, every mm -hmm. home, every Very place, and give mm -hmm. the information to our people. Mm -hmm. That's what education really is. It doesn't, it's old once it gets to the institution. It's not new anymore. It's mm -hmm. old. Mm -hmm. It's old. So br bring it out to where the mass of our people are, because you need a base, a broad base to support you. You can't stay at the, at the apex of that pyramid mm -hmm. except to be supported. Our masses are our, are our broad base, mm -hmm. and that will carry us forward. So Educate. it seems to me that we're saying that uh, February uh, African American History Month is no longer appropriate in the sense that uh, it has to be a 12-month kind of activity in terms of uh, touching more lives than uh, you would could possibly touch during a month. Is mm -hmm. that what we're saying, Dr. Campbell? Well, it may be appropriate for non-African people, but it's never been appropriate for African <laughs> people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, we have to live in a holistic way in terms of every day every is, day. is African Senate okay. day. Uh, expand African upon people. that, and, and I think that that's, that, that's a concept that uh, folks uh, rarely think of in terms of uh, February, the, the, the loan month for African American history and et cetera, being appropriate. You say it's never been appropriate for well, African Well, of course. Well, yeah. you're, you're, when you're, your reality centers on you, and so therefore it is you. Mm -hmm. And so you can't segment that or fragment that into mm -hmm. some some, you know, some fixed aspect of, of period of time, like mm -hmm. February. I mean, that's a strategy that comes from outside of the African community, not mm -hmm. within the African community. Mm -hmm. our, our history is us. 
so it is lived every day mm -hmm. and we must we must experience it every day so when we have these artificial fragmentations that is because the enemies of african people are imposing mm -hmm. their reality on us mm -hmm. and saying that they we can devote this kind of compartmental time to who and what we are mm -hmm. when the reality of it is they are willing to devote that mm -hmm. it should be about us all the time all for the time. us from our, our it's, it's, so it's, a, it's an everyday kind of and that's self-empowering that's mm -hmm. what self that's what empowerment is about that's what self-determination is about not letting others define mm -hmm. you know, what our significant uh, aspects of our mm -hmm. lives should be and you see, the month that was defined for us is the shortest month of the year. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very good. Probably by design. Uh, by design. <laughs> okay. No doubt. And, and of course, this organization that the two of you uh, represent during the uh, final three or four minutes that we mm -hmm. have here, uh, Dr. Kambon, uh, uh, this organization is an organization that reaches uh, all over the uh, United States uh, of America. And, mm -hmm. and I think, uh, Sister Thorne, you're uh, the, mem uh, the uh, president of the Eastern Division. Mm -hmm. now, but uh, what are the states that compose this Eastern Division, and what are you doing in, in terms of okay. trying to promote some of the things we've talked about here? Okay, well, uh, it, Eastern Region is comprised of New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, mm -hmm. Rhode Island, uh, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Vermont, uh, Maine, and Toronto, Canada. Mm -hmm. um, we have study groups. Uh, where we read basically our, our, our African history, our history mm -hmm. along the, Nile, the River Nile, mm -hmm. and we, uh, we study our culture. Okay. Uh, we meet basically once a month, once bi-monthly, depending upon the area which, which mm -hmm. where it's appropriate within the region. Um, we do, we, one thing the Eastern Region does, we go every July to the home of Harriet Tubman. Mm -hmm. We do a ritual at, at her grave site. We invoke her, her presence within our being to give us strength and courage to go forward like she did, to be like to re replicate some of what she did some of the things that we do in, in the region. We give conferences, a mini, each region gives a mini conference every year, um, and, that's, and that's some of the things that we do in the Eastern Region. We have a newsletter uh, to going out to Eastern Region members. So we, we, do, we do a lot of work in the Eastern Region. All the regions do a lot of work. Yeah, in I five add, regions, yeah, in five regions. Yeah. I think all, these, all of the regions duplicate what mm -hmm. she's yeah. saying, and, mm -hmm. and uh, ASCAC is global. So we have international mm -hmm. uh, members, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, chapters as well, and so, so we, we, we exist in Africa, we exist in throughout the Caribbean, mm -hmm. uh, we exist in, in Europe, mm -hmm. where African people are in Europe. So we are global. Yeah. And so we have these kind of activities and, and creating this institution mm -hmm. of rede redefinition and dissemination of African mm -hmm. information throughout the globe for African people. Mm -hmm. Okay, and of course we're nearing the uh, end of our show for today, and, and, and I want to thank the two of you for, uh, for coming by and giving us that excellent information, but mm -hmm. we still have a couple of minutes to go. I just wanted to uh, thank you before we ran out of time here. But what I'd like to do over the last uh, uh, couple of minutes is to give the two of you an opportunity to have a final comment, a uh, minute comment in terms of uh, some of the things that you think that you ought to leave with our audience relative to uh, this African worldwide perspective that we're talking about. Why don't you take a minute to do that, Sister Thorne? And of course, uh, then uh, uh, Dr. Kembo will uh, take the, uh, do the same thing. Well, I, I think that one of the main things our people need to do is to study, to search their area and find a place that, where people are studying about their history, their culture, uh, not as an enslaved people, but a people who, prior to enslavement. I think we need to understand all aspects of our history, the culture, the history, the, the economics, every, every aspect of life we, we belong to, and we need to understand every aspect of life because we began all the aspects of life we began. As a, as a spiritual person, I would say that we gave the concept of the deity to the planet, mm -hmm. and that we need to re retake that back, recapture that. Very good, Dr. Kambon. Well, I'd like to see young people question, begin to question the reality of this culture that we are existing in, called Eurocentric culture. And the way we do that is begin to pursue information about our true history and culture that is emphasized in the context of ASCAC. And I think once we begin to do that, it will feed itself and it will continue to feed itself and we will desire more and more. Mm -hmm. And I think it will become self-empowering and we will understand the importance of institutionalizing mm -hmm. that and spreading that throughout the community. Very good, and let me uh, thank uh, the two of you over the last uh, 10 seconds that we have here for coming by and giving us that excellent information about uh, a global dimension and a world perspective in terms of African uh, studies. And of course, let me encourage our audience to tune in again next week for another informative edition of Cummings. Thank you and good morning.